So I'm up here in Redmond at the 34th Street property, and it's really a strangely gray cloudy day, which is rare here, but there's still pretty decent view actually going to the east. I wish it was more clear. I could really show you the full, the full view, but from the porch, let me turn the camera around and I'll show you. The... Okay, Smith Rock, which you may not be familiar with, but, um, really gorgeous park there you can if you're into climbing all the way down if this was clear man it would be even just bigger so this is i'm standing on the front porch looking out over the yard here and uh yeah it really is a nice really nice neighborhood i i sold many homes over the years let's go on in and uh and take a look and then i'll walk you around the yard View from the from the living room. So this is gas. You do have propane here, not natural gas, but propane. These are real red oak floors, pre-finished. They look pretty good. So those are like a three quarter inch thick floor. Nice high ceiling in here. That's kind of when I walk in, it feels, it feels comfortable, it feels roomy. It's kind of nice that they took this wall out here too so that when you're in the kitchen, you've got a nice through view into, you know, if you're entertaining, you can spread out a little bit. Nice upgraded countertop, big sink, nice appliances. You got an instant hot here. Cabinets are original. Okay. Most likely, but yeah, I would say original. Um, and then just painted. And you know, with the hardware change, they look okay. They, they're, they're not new, but they look neat and clean. I'll give it that. Again, you got the high ceiling in here. Let's see if we can get more, more lights somewhere. Get looking for switches. Huh. Okay, I'll keep looking. So, got your little nook dining area, which totally appropriate. I think it's very adequate. Little doggy door right there. Well, let's just peek at the backyard. You've got a nice covered patio, which is Awesome. And it has started to rain. So, you know, you can really see the love here that somebody put in. They wanted a little grass. They got their shrubs. Interesting, they've got a little walkway into the neighbor's yard. Probably friends, right? They, they probably know each other and they wanted to be able to get up there easily. That's kind of cool. I'll show you the rest of the front yard in a minute. You can see the propane tanks uh, right down there. Nice uh, private feeling backyard. I like that. Got a gas stub right here. That's good. You want a barbecue? Okay, oven, electric, nice and clean. These floors are lin like a linoleum tile. Some changes could be made here. I don't think really you need this crack right here. This could just be a cabinet all the way over, but whatever. I get, I get what they did there, but. Yeah, this is a, uh like an aluminum backsplash. It looks good, don't you think? Okay. Down the hallway, of course, you've got your typical storage closet, laundry, 
right here. No, uh, you know, no sink. It's nice to see a sink, but linoleum floors. More linoleum tile. Looks like some kind of marble, but it's just linoleum. This cabinet's been switched out. And you've got some type of Corian. Looks pretty good. First guess about a bedroom here. Could be office. Pretty typical. I would I would say 110 square feet. Okay. Garage. Nice high ceiling and nice to see that they've built some storage in out here. Really, yeah, well done. You know, you can make really great use of that. So two car garage, definitely short on this side, but you know, uh, pretty deep on this side. I would say 25 feet deep. Uh, water heater looks probably original. All electric. Uh, let's see. Handwritten July 6, 21, last service. This, you know, looks original as well. But, you know, it does look like they've done some maintenance. That's the thing I always look for is like, has it been taken care of? Have they changed the filters? Because that really does add up. Guest bedroom at the end here. This this room's a little bigger. I'd say more like 14 deep and 11 wide. I'm guessing, but I'm pretty good with my guesses. Okay. Master. And this room really does feel spacious. This is a king bed. Plenty of space for, you know, if you want a dresser here. Uh, plenty of room. It feels, yeah, really good. Smart size room. Got a walk-in closet. Carpets um, look clean, but I would say you know, probably, and they do. They do. They definitely look clean and neat, but might need to be replaced. I just see some wear traffic here, so I probably need to be thinking about replacing the master carpet. Like they replaced this as well. Nice to see a double sink, pretty standard. Let me take a look out the, just a lot of pollen here recently. Nice to see they got the pavers all the way around. I'm gonna go out and see if I can take a walk around real quick. Okay. Let's take a peek out here. Got a little bit of slant on the driveway, not terrible. Just want to be able to show you the side. You've got your air conditioning unit there. You know, you got your pavers. Looks good. Well done. Notice the, the low fence, which could be uh, could be an HOA thing. You can look into that if you like. Yeah, looking at siding here, it looks recently painted. You got vinyl windows. It's hard for me to get a good look at the roof though. So that's about it on the walkthrough. Um, overall feeling, I really like it actually more than I was expecting. Um, 
This living space is it's comfortable. You have a nice view, um, a nice small private, somewhat private backyard. You got the covered patio and it feels loved. It's, it's something I always look for is like, has it been cared for? You know, you don't want something that's been rejected, you know, like, and not, not taken care of. When you see the love, you, you go, yeah, you know, somebody did take good care of it. I mean, everything just does look really neat and clean. I got to admit, and I'm pretty hard to get along with. And, <laughs> and uh, it, it feels really good, honestly. I really like the backyard too, because you got that little, you got that concrete, partly concrete wall there that with the fence, a lot of trees, bushes, gives you that kind of cozy feeling. And then, you know, the, the kitchen, it's, uh, it, it works. You know, we're talking about under 500 here, you know, list price, they just dropped it. But um, this is good too, I like it. Uh, I think for a couple of people, it's just perfect, honestly. And the, the, my thoughts on Redmond is like, if you're gonna live in Redmond, I would usually recommend the south part of Redmond because you're gonna be in Bend a lot and you wanna make that easy as possible, convenient as possible. So 15 minutes from here to get into Bend, 20 minutes if there's a little bit of a backup uh, just as you're entering Bend, 20 minutes. Uh, and, and this is nice because you're looking out over the city and if this was a better day, I could really show you the view. It's, it's good, it's very pleasant. And all the homes in the neighborhood, well cared for, beautifully manicured front yards. I mean, everything in this, in this right here in this area. Um, also, you've got some new schools in the neighborhood that really help support uh, property values as well. So Redmond is a deal. I always recommend Redmond first after Bend. Uh, it's more affordable. It's not that big a deal. It's a smaller community. Um, they're really working on the downtown to make it cooler. You know, they got a couple of uh, cool restaurants, you know, downtown. And hey, coming after COVID, you know, everybody is trying to keep it together, right? So I think they're doing a good job. This one is a thumbs up for me. I do like it for the, for the money. Um, I know that since she dropped the price, she's had a ton of interest. So I think this is one that um, may go five and a quarter, something like that. But uh, hey, you know, hard to beat it, honestly, when you see the love. So hope that helps. Kind of give you a look at the immediate neighbors. Looks good. I like it. <laughs> 